79 years ago, India broke free, but freedom was just the first step. The real challenge was to build a nation that could stand tall in science, space and technology. In the 1960s, one man looked up at these stars, Vikram Sarabhai, the father of India's space program. He launched rockets from small Kerala village, parts carried on bicycles, and today those dreams power missions to the moon and beyond. In the shadows, another vision was taking into shape. Dr. Homi Bhabha, the father of India's nuclear program, laid the foundation for a self-reliant India where atomic energy is a strength, not dependence. These pioneers were not just chasing fame, they were securing India's future. Every lab they built, every mission they did, every experiment they ran, that laid a brick in the foundation of the India that we see today. So, on the 79th celebration of our freedom, let's celebrate these scientists as well. And as we all know, from a space exploration to nuclear energy, from medicine to material science, India's research institutes are the beating heart of our progress. So, let's honor their legacy as well. So, today's ranking, it does not matter who's number one or who's number 20. What matters is every single institute is a soldier in the battle for knowledge and together they make India unstoppable. So here are the top 20 research institutes of India ranked by programs, degrees and impact, the pride of our nation. And in no way, the way or the order that we are going to present these research institutes in are their ranks. It's just that it's a sequence that we are going to show you and each of these research institutes are equally important, equally reputed, producing research-based outcomes and very significant in the growth and progress of our country. So hello everyone, my name is Swamin Prakash and in this video today we are going to talk about top 20 research institutes in India. So let's get started with a small disclaimer and a note that our data sources and our rankings and whatever data we have taken are compiled from NIRF 2024 and Nature Index 2025. So these are very credible and highly reputed uh, organizations and uh, data compilers so that we can ensure accuracy and credibility plus reliability. <laughs> On the first, we have IISC Bangalore, Indian Institute of Science, which is ranked number one in Nature Index plus NIRF research rankings as well. And uh, the courses are offered for undergraduate students ranging from BS to MS to MTech, PhD and all the way to postdoctorates as well as you can see. And admissions are via exams like ISER aptitude test for BS research courses and GE advanced. And for PG courses, the admissions are conducted via exams like GATE, IIT JAM, CSIR NET for PhD. The facilities are included but not limited to having Param Supercomputer, Advanced Nanofabrication Center and India's largest central instrumentation facility. So that makes it Asia's top ranked research institute. And scholarships are of course uh, for undergraduate students, which is called Inspire by Department of Science and Technology. Third rank is for HBNI, which means Homi Bhabha National Institute, which contains many of the research institutes under the Homi Bhabha National Institute and NISER is just one of them. CBS is another, BARC is another. So, so far we have 17 such research labs that makes HBNI and it is ranked number three in Nature Index. So, programs are integrated MSc, BSMS, which is UG plus PG, PhD and postdoctorates as well. Admissions are via exam called NEST NEST. Facilities are high energy physics, molecular biology labs, not limited to this, but of course, much more than physics, chemistry, maths, bio, leading to interdisciplinary research as well. The scholarships are available for undergraduate, postgraduates, and doctorate students. And the best part, if you are a NISA graduate, you can directly sit in the interview for BARC Scientific Officer C recruitment without having to appear for the written examination. And next up, we have CEBS Bombay. Of course, it is a sister institute to NISA. Same courses, admissions are via NEST, same research facilities, scholarships are via Inspire exams. So now we have ISER Pune, Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research Pune 
And as you can see, it is ranked 8 on Nature Index and 29th in NIRF research rankings. Now uh, we have programs, BSMS integrated, which is UGPG. We have PhD programs leading to postdoctorates and beyond. And uh, the admissions are via ISER Aptitude Test IET. Now in all the ISERs, we have integrated BSMS courses. The admissions for them are via ISER Aptitude Test. And uh, in some of the ISERs we'll discuss, there are BTEC courses and uh, BS in Data Science courses as well. So we'll bring it up additionally. But the facilities at ISER Pune are spectroscope cryo electron microscopy animal research facilities it is specifically very popular for biology and uh, some domains of physics now scholarships are available via inspire fellowship by department of science technology and uh, it is for the student of all isers and any research institute of the country right of course uh, there is selection process but eligibility is for everyone. Now, ISER Kolkata is on the similar line. So we have nature index ranking of nine for ISER Kolkata and special facilities are coastal and marine biology, research stations, supercomputing class. This also is very famous for mathematics, physics, and sometimes chemistry. We have ISER Bhopal. Here we have additional bachelors of science, engineering sciences. There is a BTEC course and there is BS data science as well. Now admissions and uh, scholarships are same. Facilities include green energy research labs. So ISER Bhopal does lots of applied research in nanomaterials, chemistry um, and interdisciplinary areas as well. So we have nanotechnology center as well. Next up we have ISER Mohali specializing in bio NMR, cryogenic research facilities, computational biology labs. Let me tell you ISER Mohali is especially very famous for active matter systems and some domains of mathematics and chemistry as well. Here we have uh, scholarships and nature index ranking of 17. So ISER TVM, we have uh, specializations in marine biology stations, solar energy labs. ISER TVM has also collaborated with the central government in national quantum mission, contributing towards quantum technology. Next up, we have ISER Tirupati. And Tirupati also specializes in uh, genome sequencing labs, chemical synthesis labs, and uh, have a newly launched data science course as well and with a nature index ranking of 39. Next up, we have Iser Barampur situated in Odisha. And, uh, but what's better than hearing from someone who is already pursuing their research career at Iser Barampur? So help me welcome your favorite Sagar Bhaiya, uh, who is already from Iser Barampur. So hi Sagar Bhaiya, please tell us a bit about it. Hello. So at Iser Barampur, we not only have faculties working in uh, condensed matter physics, solid state physics, in biotechnology, we also have very nice instrumentation in um, electron microscopy, um, powder x-ray. So the laboratories are very well set up. And since the institute is recently, you know, in construction, the labs are fresh. They are just waiting for you to visit the campus and just dive into the hardcore research that you would really like to do at any Iser. So that's pretty much about Iser Barampur. And the campus, as you can see, is extremely, extremely beautiful. It's like at the coastline of Odisha, right next to the beach. So the aesthetics are fantastic as well. And where are you going to pursue your master's degree? Any country? Uh, so I'm going outside India, Germany. That's where oh, I'm going. awesome, awesome. Thank you very much, Sagar Bhaiya, for joining us for this uh, quick introduction and brief. So guys, see you soon. If you're preparing for Isers and Nizer, see you in your favorite Isers. Comment down below which is your favorite Isers so far and if you know Sagar Bhai and what does he do. Let's continue with our conversation to talk about the rest of the research institutes. Next up we have Indian Statistical Institute, ISI Kolkata, which is not just popular in India but outside India as well. In fact, one of a very reputed US-based research statistical institute was inspired from ISI. And uh, we have programs, B stat, bachelors in statistics, mathematics, plus masters and PhD in the same domains as well. Key areas include statistics, mathematics, computer science, as well as data science. So it means there is a very good placement prospectus from ISI as well. The admissions are via ISI admission test and having these courses means ISI is also very prone to having very good placements. In fact, the uh, recent placement data concludes that the highest placement package was around 89 lakh rupees per year. And uh, scholarships are given to all the students admitted over there and India's top statistical computing center. Nature index ranking is 72 by the way. Next up we have Chennai Mathematical Institute similar on the lines of ISI Kolkata. So it is called CMI Chennai. We have BSMS in Maths and Computer Science. We also have Data Science here. Key areas are Maths, CS, Physics. Entrance exam is CMI entrance examination. This also gives you very high placement packages going in uh, top companies with 30, 40, 50 lakh rupees per annum. And scholarships are available to everyone. 
with specialized computing clusters, small batch mentorships are available too. Okay, the nature index ranking is 54 for CMI. Next up, we have IACS Kolkata, Asia's oldest research institute. Okay, where C.V. Raman sir did his research. And the programs offered are integrated BSc, MSc courses in chemistry, physics, material science, biology, mathematics as well. ISI admission test plus interviews are conducted for the admission. Facilities include advanced material labs, spectroscopy and photonic centers. And of course, there are institute funded fellowships and scholarships are available too. Nature Index ranking is 13. Pretty good. Now we have Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. This one is my favorite. TIFR Mumbai. We have programs starting from masters. No bachelor's programs are available, mind you. MSc Integrated, MSc PhD, PhD and postdocs are available here. Admissions are conducted via TIFR General Screening Entrance Examination. Facilities include basically GMRT. Okay, it's very popular across India and the world. So giant metro wave radio telescope. National Balloon Facility High Field NMR Labs are uh, located here as well. So full institute fellowship are available to everyone. Now we have Nature Index ranking of 7 and NIRS research rank of TIFR is basically 12 simply because of uh, the fantastic research that this institute does in all of the domains that are available here. Now we have Inter-University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics which is IOKA Pune very reputed, recognized, sought after astronomy and astrophysics research institute. So programs are again starting from masters and PhD. So we have joint MSc PhD. Key areas are astrophysics, cosmology, astronomy, solar science. Admissions are conducted via IOCA NCRA admissions test. If you know what is NCRA, let me know in the comments, okay? We just briefly talked about it. Facilities include high performance computing clusters, astronomical data sensor, and scholarships are available to everyone who is there. Now the nature index ranking is 58 for Ayoka Pune and it's widely popular across the world for uh, amongst the astronomy and astrophysics enthusiasts. Another one for astrophysics is we have Indian Institute of Astrophysics IIA Bangalore and the programs are PhD, Integrated MTech PhD as well. Key areas again are astronomy, astrophysics. Admissions are done via IIA PhD admission test and JEST. Okay, uh, for masters and PhD programs. Facilities, IIA has India's largest solar observatory, remote sensing telescopes and many more. Okay, again, full fellowships are available to all the students. Now, Nature Index ranking is 74 for IIA. Next up, we have RRI Raman Research Institute. Again, very reputed in astronomy, physics and optics. One of my favorite research institutes in astrophysics. And admissions are done via JEST, CSIR net and GATE. Facilities include radio astronomy, quantum optics lab. And let me tell you, like one of the very most uh, prestigious experiments on quantum communication and sensing are being done at RRI, which is a part of India's government national quantum mission. And uh, full fellowships and scholarships are available to everyone. Nature Index ranking is 141 for Raman Research Institute. Now we have JNCASR, Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research. It indeed is one of the top uh, research institutes in India and across the world. You know, similarly on the lines of ISC, RRI, TIFR. And uh, most popular scientists have been uh, the director or adjunct faculty or emeritus professorship at JNCASR. Programs include integrated PhD and PhD. Admissions are done via NET, GATE and entrance examination for JNCSR. Facilities include uh, Molecular Biology Center, Nano Advanced Material Labs. It specializes in applied chemistry and physics, JNCSR. Okay, uh, scholarships are available to everyone. Nature Index ranking is 34 and it produces very high quality research papers. And uh, next up we have INST, which is Institute of Nanoscience and Technology, Mohali. Programs are PhD basically. Areas include nanoscience and nanotechnology. And it has collaborations with lots of institutes in India and abroad. And admissions are done via GATE, NET plus PhD entrance examination. Facilities include nanofabrication, electron microscopy and scholarships are available to all the students. Now the last institute in this list is Institute for Stem Cell Biology and Regenerative Medicine in Bangalore. Very reputed institute covering areas of stem cell biology and life sciences. Programs offered are PhD and beyond. 
Admissions are done via in-stem uh, examination and the facilities include regenerative medicine, genome editing and full scholarships are available to students. Now, if you're interested in CRISPR kind of studies and research or you want to do something applied related to biotechnology, genetic engineering or genomics, then uh, this is the institute you might later on want to pursue your internship project or PhD in. And the best part is all these research institutes are government funded, which means government actually want you to know about them, pursue your research careers, you know, using these resources. And who knows, maybe you are the next Vikram Sarabhai, you are the next Homi Bhaba or uh, JC Bose or CV Raman, right? Because you, my friends, are going to build the tomorrow of this nation and contribute to the nation building and of course, serve and create meaningful impact via science and technology. Mm -hmm.